1000 microgram LSD trip report, posted to Reddit by a lethargic passenger four years ago. Let me start this by saying, holy crap. People say LSD is different after you get up to that 1000 microgram range, but this felt like a totally different beast. I was doing it in my room at the night, during the end of my birthday. I actually got a laptop for my birthday, and a lot more money than usual from relations, but this trip was still my best present. I took four acid lollies with around 260 to 280 micrograms, I also made a weed salad, using four different strains of weed rolled in keef that I would smoke after the come up. The come up itself was fast. I consumed the lollies over about 20 minutes, and I was already feeling it by the fourth one. I just laid in bed and moved around a bit while listening to music. This is when shit got real. My visuals escalated really quickly, and they were in full swing within an hour and 45 minutes. Time became irrelevant very quickly. Music was the only thing tethering me with time and space as I needed to flip my record that I was listening to, and it let me take a breather every 20 minutes or so. The visuals were unlike anything I've ever seen. I prepared myself a lot of objects to look at, but for the most part I just stared at the ceiling, a blank canvas for my mind to lose itself in. One particular visual occurrence I could recall was my room turning into a complete other place that had three doors and a pillar in the middle with a complex geometric star-like object on top. It then proceeded to beam directly into my head, I was transfixed and teleported back to these impossible places, impossible objects. I was peeking really hard at this point. I went to flip another record, and I sat down and noticed my entire being was coated in the insanely complex geometric film-like wrap around my body and particular objects. I just looked at my arm, it felt like this film was pushing me, and I wasn't in control of my body. As it motioned in a direction my body would follow, I was in a complete ego death-like state. I was aware of my existence in areas, but I didn't even know what I had taken at this point. There was also this wave-like pattern that was just above me, that looked a little like a topographic map for mountains in very complex geometric shapes. I lifted my hand, and as it went through it, it acted like water, where the water rippled as my hand went through it, but still had structure. I also began to feel the film-like substance as I hovered my hand around it and tried to touch my fingertips. Another cool thing that happened in the middle of the trip was I was looking at my vinyl of Sgt. Peppers, and as I stared at it, my eyes began to connect all the characters' eyes on the cover, and began to form this dot-to-dot puzzle-like object that looked too purposeful to be an accident. It's like these characters were put in exact positions on purpose, like a hidden message. The last face the dot-to-dot focused my eye line on was Alistair Crowley in the left-hand corner. For some reason, I was told to put the plastic sleeve circle on the cover, and use it like some weird Sherlock Holmes hidden message magnifying glass. The Beatles on the cover were moving, and I think they were talking to me. Throughout this trip, I definitely felt the presence of something. I can't really tell you what it was, but I had a lot of auditory hallucinations. One in particular was this strange culmination of noises that sounded like they were game noises, chewing sounds, old fashioned buttons being pressed and weird whining noises. They were all mashed into one continuous loop that kept repeating over and over and over again throughout the trip. I thought it was the presence of some entity, but it kept fading out, and it was like it was moving. I think it might be related to this film-like thing I mentioned. When I closed my eyes, I felt like my body was moving at the speed of light. It felt as though I was spinning in one of those spaceman test run things where they go around in circles to get insane amounts of horizontal g-force. I was also able to leave my body. It felt like my mind could move independently of it, and I could physically move it around my body. It felt as if it was a buzzing dot-like object moving around my body in my room. A lot more happened, but I think this is long enough. The trip lasted about 16 to 18 hours, aided a bit by copious amounts of weed near the end, and this was far beyond what I expected a 10 strip like dose to be. It definitely blew my mind, and I'm very much questioning the existence of other beings and even a god. The stuff LSD does to you is so far beyond amazing particularly the complexity of this visual geometry, and the insane things you think and feel. It puts everything we think and believe into question. Last little weird thing. Near the end of my trip, a mate was supposed to come over at like three. I was chilling in my room waiting for him to arrive, 
and I thought I heard him chatting with my brother downstairs. But when I went downstairs 15 minutes later, my brother said he wasn't there, and he was coming soon. It sounded so real, and even weirder when he got there. I'd heard these conversations throughout the night that echoed exactly what was being said in the hallucinations. Coupled with the film-like wrap around my body, it led me to believe that the time portal thing in Donnie Darko isn't far from the truth, maybe. To end the trip, we watched the new Game of Thrones, and then we decided to watch Spirited Away, as I hadn't seen it since I was like 13. God damn, that film is so good, and I also felt very connected with the story. A lot that happened in the movie echoed a lot of what happened in my trip, which was weird. Anyway, this went on longer than I thought it would. Thanks for reading if you got this far. TLDR Ate a shitload of acid on my birthday, went far beyond what I ever expected, and I think I'm an alien or similar sort of entity.